Hello and welcome back to yet another incredible video. Um, and whoo, the sun is in my eyes. <laughs> Today, I just wanted to take a quick second. This will actually be my last uh, video of 2023. So thanks for stopping in and watching. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be taking a break uh, for the month of January. Um, and I will be coming back in February, but I will be doing only a few videos in February. Um, and with the intention of hitting it pretty hard again in March. Sorry if I'm squinting. The light is literally in my eye. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I wanted to let you guys know that during this break, I will not actually be watching YouTube um, as well as not posting on YouTube. So for those of you who I follow, probably not going to get those cool comments from me during the month of January, especially because I literally will not even be on YouTube in any way, shape or form. So um, that's unfortunate. But it's kind of nice for me because it means I can come back and binge watch you guys <laughs> when I'm back on YouTube. So know that I will still catch up with your videos. I just won't be doing so during the month of January. Um, to give you guys just a brief explanation as to why I have made this choice. Give me a second. This is really good. I don't know if you guys watched our last week's um, what Christmas 2023 shenanigans, but we made this beautiful that's right, poor man's black velvet. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to watch it. Um, one of the reasons that I've chosen to take this break is one, I work full time. <laughs> um, there are some people who are full time YouTubers. I am not, I am not at that level. Um, that is not what I do. I work a full 40 hour a week job that is incredibly demanding. We also run a business and uh, we have just a lot going on. We intend to get remarried again in February which would be our 10th year anniversary. Um, so I got a little wedding to plan as well. So we just don't have the kind of time I feel like YouTube wants from me all the time. Um, and furthermore, the efforts that I'm putting forth aren't necessarily turning the dividends that I would like to see right now. Um, I have been within 1000 watch time hours of the YouTube uh, paid program for over four months. I've turned over uh, over a hundred videos and I still have not made any progress. I haven't come close to my 1500 subscriber mark really. Um, I keep getting set back and I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but that is very frustrating for me. And I personally, as a human being, as someone with feelings, need to take a minute to really think about what it means to pursue YouTube. Um, specifically, if YouTube is going to have a level of fickleness that I'm not super used to um, in business endeavors. Um, usually, I'm used to putting forth the type of effort that I've put forth in this YouTube and succeeding at things, uh, but YouTube has not really uh, played by those exact same rules, um, which is fair, uh, but it's definitely something I need to take a minute mentally to, um, to think about. Um, the idea would be that when we come back, we maybe have, I don't want to say focused content because I don't think that that's reasonable. I'm still going to produce the same content. There goes the light. I'm still going to produce the same content um, that you guys who are watching this probably know and love, uh, but maybe just a little bit different. Maybe try to find a way to streamline processes so that they don't take quite as much energy from me um, as they do right now. Uh, for every video I post, whether it's five minutes or 15, it can take me hours to days to do. Um, and that's very difficult to come up with that time while still doing other things. Um, that being said, I just want to take a quick moment and say to those of you guys who have showed up, and I always say this, showed out on our live streams, on our videos, no matter what they were, we appreciate you. You guys are incredible. You make me smile. You make me feel good. You make what I do as it pertains to the YouTube platform entirely worthwhile. I cannot say enough. You guys have made this last year really, really special and helped me learn new things. I knew nothing about editing videos prior to this. I didn't know any of these um, things, but I learned them in the process of trying to make good videos. So I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. And because I will not be here in January, I want to say happy new year to all of you guys. Um, and I want to give a special shout out to those of you who have just been incredibly supportive. Again, shout out to everybody, but a special shout out to say Donzel. Donzel, you have made this 
adventure that we're on better. Your, your comments, your support, you showing up, that means a lot to me. Joyful Designs, ever since I met you. I love your smile. I love how you bring it every time. I, I loved that you did the 12 days of Christmas to support other people, even though you yourself were going through things. That is what is up. That is the kind of thing and that's the kind of people I want to be associated with. Um, to Miss Kira, who just, are you joking? Bring in the light, bring in the love, bring in the funny. I think we have a very similar sense of humor. And when she shows up, I know it's gonna be a good time. I love her videos, I love her energy. That is what I'm talking about. So I just wanna say a special shout out to, to those people. If I missed you, it's not because you're not in my heart. And it is not because I don't um, think that you've supported me. It's probably just because those are the people I could think of right <laughs> now. But I appreciate all of you guys. Um, so, to again jump into a little bit of what we are going to be doing when we actually jump back in give me a second here i gotta sip this deliciousness um plus it gave me a break because i tend to talk a lot um to uh jump into some of the stuff that i'm going to be doing i guess during that break um some of you may know some of you may not know, I am actually a published author. I have been publishing books for over 10 years, I think at this point, maybe right at the 10 year mark, kind of coming up into it. And um, I have a couple of projects that I have not spent any time uh, editing and getting out there and I would like to do that. I have a short story called Viral Snow, which is a great short story, but I pulled it off of my Amazon cart probably a couple years ago to make some edits and never put it back. Um, and I've made those edits, but I haven't uploaded them electronically. So I really would like to do that because that's a great story. Um, and I think it's poignant for right now. And so I want to get that back out on the shelves because that's one of my favorite short stories that I've written. Um, in addition to that, and I'll, I'll pause so that the applause can happen. Just kidding, no. uh, but for those of you who may be fans of my earlier work, uh, my zombie uh, apocalypse series, Zombie Seed. Um, I have been writing Zombie Seed 3 for years, and I really would love to sit back and actually go ahead and get that finished. Um, it's basically done. I just need to pull it together and do the editing and, and make it into the hardcover, which is a process in and of itself. Um, so that, those are the things that I really want to be able to focus on during January and February. Um, I just want to spread myself out a little bit because focusing entirely on YouTube, as I said, comes with a set of challenges and possible disappointments because of the fact that it is not uh, serving me in the way that I would like for it to serve me. And here comes the light again. So anyway, I won't keep this video too long. Seems like you guys don't like long videos, but I will say this. During the time that I'm gone, um, the way that you can show support, if you wanna show support, it, is just watch those videos. Even if you've watched it, watch it again. Even if you've commented, comment again. Share it with people. Um, you know, Help me kind of stay within those algorithms if that's something that you wanna do to support me. Um, again, know that for those of you, woo, hello, that I watch, um, when I get back, I'ma watch y'all's video. <laughs> and I'm gonna comment on it. But you will not see me doing that during the month of January and maybe not even in the month of February, but that's okay because I will come through. I watch old videos. Some people don't like to watch old videos. I will go back. I'll watch the videos from six years ago. People know that about me. But anywho, um, so there's that. If you want to and you have not yet taken a look at some of my work in terms of my books, I implore you to do so. I have a wide range of subjects. Um, I do, like I said, have a, a zombie apocalypse series, which is Zombie Seed, but I've also written many other books, including erotic thriller, like Tony, which we'll be doing, that's one of the videos that I will drop in February, is we'll be doing a review of that. Um, I have just universal short stories, like The Eggs, um, that's available on Amazon. Again, these are all available on Amazon. I have a hardcover book of poetry mixed in with Aaron's uh, graphic art, called The Wandering Eye, that's available um, on Amazon as well. There's just a lot to, to see. So if you wanna better get a chance to know me um, and some of the stuff that I do outside of YouTube, 
a great way to do so is to check out some of my work um, on Amazon. And you can always find me on Amazon. It's P I'm under PM Barnes author. And you can always search book titles like Zombie Seed um, or Tony, which Tony might bring up a lot of stuff. Or I wrote another book called The Devil Ate Me. So there's, there's ways to support even though I'm not going to be putting up videos during this time period. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, and yeah, just make sure to comment beneath uh, or below if you are a content creator and you've taken a break before, especially those of uh, you who have been out here for a couple years. Do you usually take breaks? Do you not take breaks? How do you, um, how do you handle just the workload and some of the mental stuff that comes with trying to, to make a way um, in YouTube um, and YouTube having its, you know. <laughs> so comment um, if what your experiences have been. I would love to to uh, hear those. I am still gonna be answering comments and I'm still gonna be watching you guys' videos up until probably January 1st. Um, so just know that I will still be online um, until that point. But then after January 1st, again, through the month of January, I will not be online. In February, we will be posting a few things, uh, but I'll still not be fully available or fully here inside of the YouTube space. Um, that light is just going literally in and out. <laughs> but anywho, that's pretty much all. I just wanted to make sure that I came and talked with you guys because you deserve it. Those of you who've been supporting me, you deserve it. Um, and if you're watching this and you have not already subscribed, please do so because we aren't going away forever. We're just taking a break. Um, and your subscription will help us to uh, feel good about continuing to create content. So please do uh, subscribe if you have not already. And uh, I think that's about it. So again, happy new year to everybody. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good holiday. Um, yeah, I think that's all the business I've covered. If you have any questions, or you want to better understand things, or you need links or anything like that, let me know in the comment box. And if it's before January 1st, I will answer those. Um, if it's after January 1st, I will answer them as well, but it will just be later. So again, thank you guys all for being here with us. And hey, cheers into the new year. Bye.